Welcome to GeoVis Plus. Researchers across various disciplines such as geography, remote sensing, anthropology and archaeology, urban planning, public policy, public health, emergency management, environmental sciences use GIS tools for various analysis needs. Measuring the geographic distribution of features that are point, line, or polygon across space is an important analysis capability of GIS. Mapping the distribution of central features and distributional trends can provide visual insights into your data that may not otherwise be apparent. ArcGIS has a specific toolbox sets that measure central feature, directional distribution, linear directional mean, mean center, median center, standard distance, and many more. I hope researchers across various fields get an invaluable support out of this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please do it now. Let's dive into the main session. Open your art map. I'm going to use South Africa's administrative boundaries and point data as input for this exercise. The boundary data is considered as administrative level 0, Provinces make up Administrative Level 1, Metropolitan Municipalities make up Level 2, and District Municipalities or Towns make up Level 3. I have renamed Level 0 as the Republic of South Africa. We will highly use level 3 administrative boundaries that are mostly town features and polygons. I have renamed level 3 as towns in South Africa. We will also use point data inside towns. Several point data might be inside the same administrative boundary level 3 or towns. Central features is our first tool set to look at. It is helpful for the identification of the most centrally located feature in a point, line, or polygon feature class. The case field is an important parameter we will use throughout the video. It's the geographic extent that's available on the attribute table that helps to summarize the input data. For the location and town's point data, the town boundary data helps to summarize as a case field. For towns in South Africa, level 2 administrative data or provinces help us to summarize what is our centrally located at towns in that particular province.
If we look at the West Coast province for instance Burg Revere Town is identified as the central town in that particular province. Directional distribution is our second tool set on the list. It creates standard deviational ellipses to summarize the spatial characteristics of geographic features, central tendency, dispersion, and directional trends. The tool clearly identified the current situational locations along with an ellipse indicating a direction to southwest or northeast. Linear directional mean is the third tool set to look at. It helps to identify the mean direction, length, and geographic center for a set of lines. The tool indicated the direction towards southwest which is practical. Mean center will be the fourth tool set on the list. This tool set helps to identify the geographic center, or the center of concentration, for a set of features. The mean centers are which are greenish in color are displayed from the list of brownish point feature that indicates locations in towns. Median center identifies the location and minimizes overall Euclidean distance to the features in a data set. The median centers are displayed as yellow point features. Let's compare the median centers from the mean centers. There seems to be quite some spatial disparity to locations identified as median centers form mean centers.
Our last tool that is standard distance measures the degree to which features are concentrated or dispersed around the geometric mean center. Urban and regional planners could highly utilize this tool to identify various decisions made to choose locations that are more accessible or inaccessible. The result displays the standard distances as circles of various sizes. We can easily identify the town which displays the largest circle for geovisualization by sorting out the standard deviation distribution. We can change how these distances are displayed in ArcGIS. Let's try that. I hope you liked our today's video, if you are not a family yet, just click on the subscribe button to get our future videos. Bye for now.